So you want to start and break through AI and machine learning as a career path, but you are stuck. Where do you start? Do you start with Python mastery or math mastery or data science mastery or where exactly you need to start? What if I told you that the fastest way into AI and machine learning isn't through algorithms and math, but it is through cloud and DevOps? In this video, I will explain to you why cloud and DevOps are your launch pad towards a successful AI career. And if you are an absolute beginner into IT, this path is going to be the best way to future-proof your career, to get hired faster, and transition into AI the right way with world-class skills that the companies are begging for. Please consider subscribing to the channel activating the notification and give us a like and share let a lot of people benefit from this video and stay tuned i'll explain to you everything in details in previous videos that are available and they are in the description box as well i have explained why cloud skills terraform docker kubernetes and linux and more of the cloud and DevOps required skills for a successful career are milestones or are the foundation for a successful career in AI or machine learning or MLOps or data science. In this video, I'm going to show you with time frames and also AI assisted, AI approved opinion or viewpoint why cloud and DevOps career could be your fastest way to get hired. And then from there, you can jump into AI and machine learning. So let's go ahead and look at what were the questions to chat GPT and what were the answers that assist in my viewpoint that cloud and DevOps should be your first target if you are an absolute beginner in IT. And from there as a launch pad, you can branch into machine learning, MLOps, AI, or data science. Let's go ahead and look at the questions. So here is the first question. Which career can a beginner in IT be ready for faster? cloud DevOps or machine learning, machine learning ops, an absolute beginner with no background in IT. So someone has no IT background, maybe they are only capable of using the internet and computers, but they don't know anything about IT. They don't know IP addresses, they don't know what is the cloud, they don't know what's a data center, what's a network, what's a, a software development life cycle, or what's DevOps, what's machine learning, but they heard that machine learning and ML ops is a good thing, and they would like to shift into that or get into that career. And you could be someone from a different career as well, shifting into IT. So the answer was, for an absolute beginner in IT, it is significantly faster and more realistic to become job ready for a cloud and DevOps career than for machine learning or machine learning ops engineer. And here is why AI believes so. Cloud and DevOps path which is faster for beginners. Time to entry level, entry level jobs, junior jobs. Six to eight months with focused study. Here it's assuming 14 to 20 hours per week. So you are putting between two to three hours per day on average. And of course, if you are putting less, that could be longer period. If you are putting more time, it could be shortened. But when we, are, when we say shortened, it could be six months. It's not going to be two weeks. What are the math and programming requirements for cloud and DevOps path? Basic scripting, you need to learn math and basic Python, no heavy math. So there is no mathematics involved. You need to learn bash scripting at the beginner level and Python at the beginner level or fundamentals. What are the concepts you need to learn? You need to learn Linux, of course, basic networking, cloud, Automation, Ter Terraform and Ansible, and Container, Docker and Kubernetes, and CI-CD. So Kubernetes was missed from here, but you'll find it in other points. What certificates are going to help? If you consider AWS Certified Cloud Practitioner, AWS Certified Solutions Architect Associate, Docker Certified Associate, and Certified Kubernetes Administrator. These are certificates that definitely are going to help. Career readiness, you can apply for Junior Cloud Engineers, DevOps Associate, DevOps Engineer Associate, Cloud Support Engineer, Site Reliability Associate or Junior or Intern roles. So these are careers that you can apply to. What's the job market situation? It's strong global demand with many junior roles and internships. 
Of course, some people may debate this depending on the country. And I have another video that I'm coming up. What if you are an absolute beginner and your country requires DevOps engineers or cloud engineers with one year of experience or two years of experience? What to do in that situation? Stay tuned for that video. So what's the technical barrier? It's a low technical barrier because this is mostly infrastructure automation and tooling. The cloud and DevOps is all about tooling, infrastructure, and automation, which is true. Even CI, CD pipelines for software are also about automation. Now let's contrast that to machine learning engineer or machine learning ops engineer path, which is longer and more advanced. So let's look at the end time to entry level. To, to, to get to be ready for the associate or junior level, you need 12 to 18 months. Here you needed six to eight. So about 40%, 30% of the time. And again, this is assuming that you are looking at the 14 to 20 hours per week. One might debate that 18 months is too much, maybe 12, that's fine. We are saying a range. But anyways, it is from two times what is needed here to two times what's needed here, roughly. It could be a little less. Math and programming requirements. So you need strong Python skills. You need linear algebra, statistics, probability, data structures. Concepts to learn. Machine learning algorithms, model training, deployment, data pipelines, cloud machine learning services, ML ops tools. Of course, this could be longer because here it could be assuming machine learning engineer and ML ops. So if we go with half of that period, 10 to 12 months, that's fine. What certificates would help here? TensorFlow developer, AWS machine learning specialty, Google Cloud machine learning engineer. Of course, this will help. Career readiness, the jobs you can apply to, machine learning junior or intern, junior data scientist, which is rare, and machine learning ops assistant, rare for true beginners. So basically, junior machine learning or ML ops engineer or junior machine learning engineer. Okay, but here they are saying it's very hard to find data scientist junior positions or a machine learning ops assistant for true beginners. Again, uh, I'm going to create a video on what would you do in case if you are an absolute beginner, you have done a lot, lots of projects, but you don't have actual field experience. What would be the narration and how you would position yourself as someone with one year experience or maybe 18 months experience. Job market, it's competitive and most roles require degrees or project portfolios. So this is very important when you are talking about ML ops and machine learning. The technical barrier is high because there is a lot of math and programming that are advanced skills, I would say, and domain knowledge needed as well. So between the two, which one would get you faster to be hired and you can finish it quickly and you can apply for jobs and get some income so you can finance your next milestones in learning in machine learning and machine learning ops, then cloud is the winner for that. And the faster to job, you can uh, apply for cloud and DevOps jobs. Lower learning curve, again, it's cloud and DevOps. More entry-level roles, cloud and DevOps. Higher starting salary, realistically, cloud and DevOps. And technical complexity for beginners is also cloud and DevOps. So cloud and DevOps, if you are pure beginner, if you are with zero IT background, get into cloud and DevOps, and then transition from there into machine learning and machine learning ops. So we're not saying you need to change or shift your goal. You are still heading there, and the time frame is going to be similar or same, or maybe a slightly higher, but then you get into a milestone, you get hired, you start the experience, you start knowing what IT is from inside, you build experience in troubleshooting and working with teams and collaboration and all that stuff. And then you are studying to the next role. And maybe you are lucky enough that you have also a machine learning or ML ops team within your company or corporate, then you can build some good networking relations with the rest of the team. And then you can transition internally into a junior machine learning ML ops, and then you grow within the corporate. So the recommendation, if you are new to IT, and want a faster, high demand, well-paying path, go with cloud and DevOps first. Then if you are interested and you still want to continue, you can transition into ML Ops later with cloud, Python, and machine learning skills. 
Best way to visualize this and understand the concept deeply, let's put that on a graph or a drawing where we can summarize what we have discussed. So if you are an absolute beginner in IT and you would like ultimately to reach the machine learning engineer or the MLOps engineer career path. So best is to start with cloud and DevOps. A lot of the knowledge that you are going to gain here, including the Python fundamentals, bash, bash scripting, Linux, Docker, Kubernetes, CI CD concepts, and also Terraform, cloud skills, all of that is going to be reusable into machine learning engineer and machine learning ops engineering. So you spend here the six to eight months and then you start applying for jobs, you get hired, you have a revenue stream coming in and then you start to work towards the other one, as opposed to waiting for the 10 to 12 months to either machine learning engineering or MLOps. So if we combine these two, then it will look something like this, six to eight months and now you are hired and you are working, you are inside IT, you sit in meetings, you understand the processes, you understand project management, you understand agile in uh, project management and all that. And you are working hands on, you are building field experience, you are working with the teams, you are gaining a lot of insights, experience, feedback, stuff like that. And also you are learning new stuff hands on. And after you have stabilized, then you spend the four months or five months or even six months because there is no financial stress at the moment in order to build the delta required for MLOps engineer. And probably you work towards machine learning engineering after that or the other way around. So you have bridged the gap and now you have reached your goal, but you have been making money eight months into the process, not after 12 months into the process. And if, of course, if you add another two months or three months for more AWS certificate and Azure certificate, you solidify your cloud knowledge by industry recognized certificates and also maybe Terraform Associate for Automation, Certified Kubernetes Administrator or Docker Certified Associate. So you have a panel of globally recognized certificates that will make you more attractive to hiring companies or employers than those without. Now, one might ask the question, can we expand this concept of having smaller steps as opposed to an eight month step into the cloud and DevOps? And the answer is absolutely, we can do this. So you can zoom into this one and divide it into three smaller steps. So instead of waiting for eight months to apply for jobs, why don't I just get the IT fundamentals, the DevOps fundamentals, the cloud fundamentals, and then start to establish virtual machines in the cloud, train on Red Hat, for example, into the cloud on Linux, master it, and then pass the RHCSA exam, and then do some bash scripting and build a profile like a junior Linux administrator. Red Hat is now owned by IBM, so that's a globally recognized certificate for Linux administrators. And I can apply as an associate or a junior Linux administrator, get into IT, start to build that knowledge about IT, start to build connections, know the different teams, and then build the DevOps another two, three, four months. Then I can finish the Terraform Certified Associate, the, the CKA. I can also build CI, CD, do some projects. And maybe within the corporate, I can shift into the DevOps team as a junior DevOps engineer or associate DevOps engineer. Or maybe as I speak to my manager and I ask him to give me 10%, 20% of my time. And I have already a good relation with the manager of the DevOps team. And now I can start to help in their projects or I can sit in their meetings. I can be part and contribute to their documentation. So that way you are building rapport with that team and eventually you will move into that team. And then the last two to three months, then I can do the cloud certificates and now I am ready. So we have split the eight months or 10 months here into three milestones. And in each one, I have different jobs I can apply to. So maximizing the potential of being hired early in the process a revenue stream coming in and then I can fund the rest. And I still have M machine learning and MLOps as my ultimate goal. Maybe this process will extend another two, three, four months, but who cares? If I'm hired three, four, five months into the process, that gives me the funds to spend for the remaining eight or 10 or 12 months. And I'm still having my vision. My eyes are still focused on the goal and I will get there. 
So hopefully now it is clear to you why jumping through Cloud and DevOps to machine learning and MLOps is a good idea. It will get you hired faster. You will have funds to fund the rest of your journey. And also you will be able to build field experience, no IT from the inside, while you are building the delta between machine learning ops and machine learning engineering and cloud and DevOps. Four months or five months or even six months while you are hired and you are paid and you know the IT from the inside is going to maximize your potential of understanding machine learning details, concepts, and ML ops concepts. And also you will be relevant because you are in the industry, will give you higher chances of being hired like cross teams within your corporate. And also it will lessen the pressure that you have and the panic level that you have because you are already making money and you are shifting towards an ultimate goal, which is MLOps and machine learning engineering. So hopefully that makes sense. Follow that path. And I'm going to create another video about the best path to cloud and DevOps. Please consider subscribing to the channel, activating notification, give us a like and share. In our next video, we're going to look at what is the beginner's path, the best beginner's path into AI engineering, and we are going to refer back to this video. I don't want to make the video half an hour. I don't want to take a lot of your busy time and busy schedules as everyone is. I'll see you in the next video. Thank you.